Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Rugrats games for the GBA. Rugrats Castle Keepers is a platformer and not a really great one. It's not broken nor is it intentionally hard, but the platforming is too slippery which makes some jumps frustrating. The controls are good, but the slippery nature of the game and the fact that sometimes its level designs are confusing on what to jump in a level make it a less enjoyable experience. And it's weird that in some parts the game looks polished, while in other parts it looks ugly. As for diversity, you get 4 distinct levels and 1 boss level after you complete all the 4 levels in the game. Also one of the levels isn't a platformer, it's a flying level that looks like this. You can finish the game in around 1 hour and overall it's a decent game. It gets frustrating in some moments when you see that you missed a jump because of a slippery control or because you thought that you could jump on that object but couldn't, but overall the game is a decent platform. Rugrats I Gotta Go Party is a children's game masterpiece. The game is a series of minigames, 24 minigames to be more precise, and each minigame is excellently executed. The diversity in the game is amazing, and each minigame feels great, of course because it's a game destined for children, anyone older will find the game dull at some point. But for a children's game, this is a masterpiece. If you have a kid and want to find him a good GB game, don't hesitate on this one. It has so much well executed and varied content that your kid will have fun for sure. Even you will have fun with the game, if you play it in short spurts. Rugrats Go Wild feels like it lacks substance. The gameplay is ok, but you lose interest easily in the game. You have to roam a small map and complete some really basic and simple tasks, then you get into one of these two mini games. one is this level where you have to platform and hit the animal shown here with balls, and another one is a collecting minigame that at first looks like a racing minigame, but it isn't. You have to collect stuff in this type of minigame. You also get a submarine level and overall it's dull. If you're an adult or a teen or anything older than a toddler, the game will be dull. The game could be fitting for a little kid, but for anyone older, the game will be boring. And All Grown Up Express Yourself is a lousy RPG. You play as Angelica and recreate 8 All Grown Up episodes. And in this RPG you get free roam, but not the usual great free roam, no, here you get the 2D free roam, and since spaces are big, it's tiresome to walk so much in a game in a 2D fashion, just to talk to a character, because essentially this is what you will mostly do in the game, talk to characters. Angelica is a reporter looking for stories. Other characters from the cartoons have cameos too in the game, but you are going to play with Angelica. The world is empty, because aside of the characters you have to talk to, you can't interact with anyone else. Also, in an attempt to spice things up, there are hazards on the road, like bees that give you damage, or moles, or kids with skateboards that crash into you. The game also has some lousy minigames, rhythm games and memory games, most of them. Overall, the game is ok, I mean it's not terrible, but don't expect much from it. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.